The play is called A Couple of White Chicks Sitting Around Talking. Yes, that is the full title. Um, some people thought that was weird. I don't, I don't know. We've gotten interesting reactions from the title, but um, it basically is what the title says, only a lot more interesting. Um, anyone who's familiar with The Odd Couple will recognize the sort of story. It's, it's these two women of very of opposite backgrounds essentially who are thrown into each other's lives so um, my character is Hannah Mae Bindler from Austin Texas and I've moved next door to this woman Maud Mix um, in Westchester County New York which is uh, long way from Texas <laughs> and uh, and it's a really rich community and Maud is very Martha Stewart-y and straight-laced and she has her cookies and she has her meetings and she has her books and <laughs> Hannah Mae doesn't. <laughs> Hannah Mae's a little more kooky, a little more eccentric and fun and she just wants a friend. One of the one of the really fun things about it is that these two characters are so completely different, but they're not. These two characters are the same person. They really are. And, and there's like a, a mirroring thing that we see kind of happen um, as you see them like come together and not giving anything away. But you know, I guess it's that just like relative, like relating to everyone that we're all sort of you know we have different backgrounds but we're going through the same stuff this is a it's a comedy a couple of white chicks sitting around talking um there's two characters in it it's a two-woman show it's set in westchester county and my character Maud mix is uh has a little mcmansion in westchester county she's sort of an uptight lady she doesn't really work um, outside of the home, and uh, she's pretty type A. No, she's very type A. She's, uh, everything's in its proper place. She does a lot of things for the community, she's baking bake sales, making sure all of the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed, and um, She's got her whole life scheduled out. She's just, everything's on a calendar and on a schedule, and if she gets thrown off of that schedule, it's like a disaster. Well, I think that from my character's perspective, just a little bit about how it, it pays to be flexible, but also relationships and the importance of friendships. Um, and seeing things from a different point of view. But also, I'd really like people to get a good laugh. It's been a long, cold winter, and spring is finally breaking, and I think it would be a great show for people to come out and see and just have a good laugh and have fun with these two ladies. What dancing? I saw you. What abandon? What grace? Boy, if tragedy struck or you got kicked out of Westchester, you could go be a professional at it. You could stand up on one of those reinforced bars in one of those clubs for only guys real late at night, and the way you move, you'd rake in so much money, you'd really be in the clear. Talk about letting go, I mean... 